In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat the Webflow nesting limits with Visual DX. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to visualdx.dev. We're going to copy this script. We're going to go into our Webflow settings and go down to our custom code, paste the script into the head. I'm going to save that. Next, inside in Webflow, I'm going to show you the setup. We've got a couple of CMS collections. We've got a category, we've got projects, and we've got our team members. So inside in projects, we've got two multi-reference fields. Now you can use reference fields or multi-reference fields, it doesn't matter. And these are connected to our categories and our team members. So as you can see here, we've got multiple team members and multiple categories. And we have a static page. And in that static page, I've dropped in a CMS collection and I have connected that to categories. I've also added in a heading and I have connected that to the categories names. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a link. You can add in a link block or a text link. I'm going to add a text link for this video. And I'm just going to write in here, nest projects here just so that we can see what we're doing we're going to connect the link to the current category the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to visual dx.dev and we're going to go down to the nest page and we're going to copy this attribute we're then going to paste that attribute into the custom attribute name of our link and then we're going to give that custom attribute and a value of projects The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our categories template. Inside our categories template, you can see that we have another CMS collection. And this one's got a card inside it. This collection is connected to our projects. And I've also added the filter to contains current category. So in the projects list, we're going to add another attribute. We're going to go back in here to visualdx.dev. And we're going to get this attribute, bdx nest this. And we're going to put that in the name and we're going to give this the same value projects now the next thing we're going to do is underneath the little team heading here is i'm going to add in another link and i'm going to just type in nest team here i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to connect this link to our current project we're going to give this the same attribute as before bdx nest link we're going to give it the value of team. Now inside our projects, if we scroll down here, I've already set up CMS collection and inside that I've connected it to our team members and I've added a tiny little card in there and these are team members that are connected to this particular project. So again, we're going to select the collection list and we're going to give this the attribute bdx nest this and we're going to give the exact same value. Now, if I have everything set up correctly, when I publish this, and if we go back to our static page, okay, we can see here that everything is working perfectly. We've got our cards nested inside our headings and our team nested inside our cards. And then just one more thing that I'm going to show you is if we click through to our page you see that we have our team here i also have these cards down here so we're going to set these up in the same way that they pull the team members from the projects and add them to the cards down at the bottom so if we go into our projects go down to the bottom you can see here i already have a little link in there that says nest team here and we need to make sure that this is connected to our current project and then we're going to give that the same attribute bdx nest link and then it is the value of team and if we publish that and refresh you can see here at the bottom of the blog and our related blogs that the team members have been pulled across okay great thanks for watching